Here at the Toasty Brewers, we do $1,000 build guides all the time, but we think this one might be the best yet. Featuring an RX 6800 with 16 gigs of VRAM. You heard that right, a $1,000 build with 16 gigs of VRAM, and we think the performance is gonna be really awesome, but before we dive into today's build, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Attention PC builders, do you wanna save money on your Windows activation? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered, an awesome online marketplace with game keys and also Windows licenses. It's awesome how easy it is to activate Windows you literally just buy a key on GVG Mall using code TB20 to get a really good discount. And from there, you literally copy and paste the key into Windows and boom, you now have an activated version of Windows. You can get Windows 10, Windows 11, and a bunch of other different keys at GVG Mall. And be sure to use code TB20 on checkout to save money on a Windows 10, Windows 11, or any other key from GVG Mall. Big thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into it, shall we? For the CPU, we have the i5-12600KF. This is a 10-core, 16-thread processor. At $180, people seem to really love these right now because you get awesome gaming performance and if you're into editing and programming other stuff, these also do great. And for the CPU, you are going to need an aftermarket cooler. So what we have right here is a Zalman CNP S9X Performa ARGB in black. It's a pretty nice looking tower cooler that I'm pretty excited to use inside of this build. And at the price of $19.99, it is a pretty good bang for buck. Now for the motherboard, we have an ASRock B660M Pro RS. These are $95 right now and arguably one of the best bang for buck motherboards you can get because you get a little bit of RGB underglow that you can change. We actually have four RAM slots, two four pins for the CPU, and overall a pretty versatile and upgradable motherboard even though it's micro ATX. Now for RAM, we have this only kit of 32 gigs. It is dual channel, so two 16 gig sticks at 3600 megahertz. You can spend more on the motherboard and more on the RAM, but the RAM being so cheap at $65, it's kind of hard to spend 100 when you're saving that much money. And obviously the RAM doesn't really put a huge performance difference going from DDR4 to DDR5. Now this right here is a really good deal. The P41 from Solidime, the one terabyte one to be specific because you're gonna be spending around $65 and you're getting Gen 4 performance and it's actual Gen 4 performance, not that really slow Gen 4. Now for the graphics card, this is an XFX RX 6800, and honestly, this is the star of the PC build at $400. You're getting 60 gigs of VRAM. You could buy these new on Amazon with Prime shipping, and yeah, it's a really good graphics card that we really didn't know was this cheap right now. It makes for a thousand dollar build that will be very powerful for the money. Now for the power supply, we have the good old Segotep GN 650 80 plus gold power supply. They're about $54 on Amazon right now, and Newegg if you want to pick one up. But this is a really awesome 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply. There'll be plenty power for this build. The RX 6800 from AMD recommends a 650 watt as the minimum, but honestly, you have way more headroom than that with this power supply. And yeah, it's a good bang for the buck that we use a lot over at PC Bros, our PC selling business. And we do have to give a big shout out to Zalman. They did send this CPU cooler and also the P30 right here. This is an awesome micro ATX case that we got in black that features three pre-installed ARGB fans. Two of them are reverse blade fans, meaning the airflow does come in from this side, so you don't have to worry about having the ugly side of the fan showing. It looks really clean that way. One exhaust fan and at around $94, which is a really good buy, you get good build quality and a very solid case that will be great for high-end builds and budget builds. All in all, this is a really awesome case at under $100. It can be the perfect hand for this PC build. So let's not waste any more time. Put this build together and see how this combo of the RX 6800 and 12600 KF can perform together and see if this is truly the best $1,000 PC in 2024. All right, guys, we are kicking things off with Call of Duty Warzone 1440p on the balance preset with no upscaling. We're gonna start things off without FSR or anything to help us out here. 
and it's looking like we don't really need FSR. We're getting 120 plus FPS on average with the 6800 and 12700 KF combo at 1440p balance settings. It's looking really good. Obviously you could run frame gen or FSR3 if you want to, but always know when you do that, there is gonna be some inherent in latency that will make the gameplay not as responsive. So we're gonna stick with no FSR right now just to see what this thing can do. And so far, performance is pretty dang solid. Now, building a $1,000 PC, you can go a ton of different ways. You can go this route and get a super high-end GPU at a great price with a good budget deal like the 12600KF, or you can go more balanced and get something like a 7600 and 7600 combo, the 7600X and the RX 7600. That will run you about $1,000 as well if you want something that has a good upgrade path. But I think the best of both worlds, honestly, would be going with this GPU and pairing it with something like a Ryzen 5 7500F, one of those AliExpress CPUs. That would make for a really awesome configuration. And I just got, how did I just kill? I just got killed. I was just yapping too much. I just got killed. Did I get the Riku? Oh my. <clears throat> oh! Chase me, I dare you. Yeah! I'm not gonna let you, ah! No! I was like, I'm not gonna let you self res this time, but then I get killed instantly. Oh, God, God. Yeah, I got somebody. You weren't even the problem, but whatever. I had the worst run in Call of Duty history. I swear that was just horrendous death completion, but hey, you know what? It runs great, doesn't make you a better gamer, but it does run pretty well, and I got 17 plays at least, that's something. Uh, let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, we are playing Halo Infinite. We got Max FOV, we're playing 1440p, no upscaling or anything on the high quality preset, which is one below the max preset, and hey, we, can, we can be playing the max if we wanted to, honestly. Yeah, this is where having all that VRAM definitely comes in handy, especially if you're running like multiple monitors, you know, a high refresh rate, a higher, uh, <laughs> higher resolution. These guys are, these guys are kind of destroying us right now. What is this extraction? Okay, get some. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we're being run. This guy needs that. to be oh. ended. Oh, I'm surprised. That, oh, that guy. Ooh, I was gonna say he was choking. Took everywhere. Oh damn. Teammates, we need to like really pull some people together here. Oh, his teammate was there. These, these guys are so ridiculously good, dude. Oh, and I hate it because it's like it's not. Even, it's, it's, it's every time we're, we're testing a really nice PC, we're like the game's running great, you know. These guys are just insane. Oh my god, dude. Oh, <laughs> where they come from? Wow. Dude. Yeah, that dude's coming. Oh. Drop it. How do I throw this grenade? Uh, Please. Oh. Surely didn't know I'm here, right? Oh my god, he knows I'm here. They're like, well, son of a gun. I think they got him though. Yeah, they knocked him off. Okay. They got him. Wow, that was uh, salute. Great. That was great. Performance hopefully, of the PC is good, but um, the next game is better. Yeah, hopefully, uh, 3D Mark Time Spy shows how good this PC is because <laughs> my Warzone gameplay wasn't great, Halo wasn't great, but you know what? 3D Mark Time Spy and some other AAA titles will show you how awesome this PC is. You, you can't go. lose 3D Time Spy. <laughs> All right, guys, we were able to benchmark this PC at 1440p, and I think if we really wanted to, we could have even done some 4K as well. For $1,000, the performance is really awesome, and 3D Mark Time Spy definitely confirmed that with a score of 15,034, which is a seven cent per point score, which is really good for a $1,000 PC, very good value for the money. And we also tested in a couple other games. We ran the finals at 1440p high settings with no FSR and got 80 to 90 FPS on average, and Cyberpunk at 1440p on high settings with no FSR got 81 FPS on average. Obviously playing at 1440p, you can use FSR if you want to and just expect even more FPS. So if you're gonna build this gaming PC yourself, check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links, they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this PC and big shout out again to Zalman for being the case sponsor of this video and sitting over this P30 and allowing us to use that awesome tower cooler that kept that 12th century KF nice and cool. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye
This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech with an awesome one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, we sell awesome gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOASTERBROS2 on checkout. You'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.